Why couldn't this happen to Sparks? Gibson to Hyperforce. Come in. Gibson to Hyperforce. I need to get to higher ground. Ah, perfect. Only one calling for reinforcements. Gibbs into hyperforce. Breathing. Oh, yeah. Gar. No sudden moves. I can't believe I lost a life battle to a skinny little simian. I will be shamed before my amphiboid brothers. Your shame should be the least of your worries. You are now my prisoner. <laughs> Got Otto. The robots hanging tough. We're good to go. What's Gibson's status? No beacon, no tracker, nothing. That circuit head probably squashed himself against an asteroid. No, I sense he's out there. Somewhere. Composition of these asteroids blocks both my homing beacon and the power primate. Power primate? <laughs> Your primates have no power. They've been destroyed by my amphiboid brothers. Or perhaps they've defeated your froggy fellows as easily as I have defeated you. <gasps> hey! That's my stuff! A small conflagration just might register on my robot's long-range scanners. Now sit down. Try and make me. Ah! You tried to blow me up. No. It's these rocks. They must be an explosive mineral. Hmm. Not a mineral. A calcified explosive gel. According to my calculations, the high temperature of your fire... ...caused a chemical reaction, sending it to critical mass, of course. But according to my calculations, compositions like this are only found near dense star clusters. Where the intense gravity is necessary to... ...keep the, the gel, gel stable. stable. 
Perhaps you'd better sit down, prisoner. Mean little monkey machine. So, you robot primates eat, huh? So do us superior frog beans. I can't reach it. Look, I war vow not to attempt escape. All right, but only while you eat. Oh, you're disgusting. Me? You eat with your tail. Ah. 